Hey everyone, Sumo Spiffy here. Welcome to our latest preview for Natsu 2023, this one for Hokuseiho and Mitoryu. There aren't many opponents in Makauchi that Hokuseiho has fought often enough to be able to do this, but Mitoryu is one of them. They fought in each of the last three Bashos, Mitoryu won the first, while Hokuseiho took the last two. Does Mitoryu have what it takes to even the score, or can Hokuseiho one-arm his way to another victory? Let's look at the rip-roaring action of their Kyushu fight. The Tachi is sort of non existent. They both just kind of stand up before going at each other. Now, this isn't necessarily bad. It can be a sign of two guys who expect the other to charge and are bracing for impact. In fact, that's more likely given that it's their first fight and there's no way to know exactly how a specific opponent will approach you. But it isn't what we usually see. They shuffle in, collide, and handshake a belt grab. By handshake, I mean they accept their opponent's tactic without fighting it off in exchange for being able to land their own. They wiggle against each other in equal balance until Mitoryu claps his right hand down on Hokuseiho's back and plants his left foot forward to begin a throw. Note that, unlike many throw attempts, his knee never makes contact with Hokuseiho's leg as intended. Mitoryu is simply able to produce enough force without having a clear leverage advantage that he pulls Hokuseiho up on one foot, which now allows him to clip Hokuseiho's knee with his left thigh and swing him towards the rope. Hokuseiho reaches the rope and plants his left foot to resist. Notice that his right foot has still not touched the ground since Mitoryu got it in the air in the first place. Even with a ridiculous belt grip, it's a remarkable feat of balance. Mitoryu can't push him out, so he continues pulling Hokuseiho around, and Hokuseiho keeps hopping along back to the center of the ring. Hokuseiho finally gets his foot down, and once the Gyoji gets out of the way, we see that on this side, it's Hokuseiho's grip around Mitoryu's back versus Mitoryu's hand at a bad angle on his chest. Hokuseiho bears his weight down, and Mitoryu drops his arm into a clamp on Hokuseiho's left. They stay there for a while in the sumo lean before Mitoryu presses forward again, to which Hokuseiho instantly responds by jamming his right knee under Mitoryu's left and pulling. But Mitoryu slips his leg free, and even though we can't see from the other side, it's pretty clear he has a double belt grip from the way he plows Hokuseiho out of the ring. Now we go to their fight during Hatsu this past January. They start more aggressively this time, thankfully, with each man looking for a belt grip on either side. Both reach underneath on the camera side, while Mitoryu goes inside and Hokuseiho over top of his arm on the other. Hokuseiho pulls his hips back to deny the underhand grip from Mitoryu's left, and has good control with a left hand grip and his right hand on Mitoryu's hip. Hokuseiho drops his right hand down and drives up, pushing Mitoryu's right foot off the ground. Mitoryu has a belt grip on the right though and hangs on. After a short pause, Hokuseiho steps forward with his right foot and pumps his hips. It's fine that Mitoryu doesn't go anywhere because the goal was just to get Mitoryu's center of gravity higher, allowing for a pull. However, Mitoryu still has their right hand locked in, so all Hokuseiho seems to accomplish is getting himself closer to the rope. But before Mitoryu can find his balance, Hokuseiho yo-yos him back again, driving forward until now Mitoryu is up against the rope. Mitoryu puts up a token resistance, but it's over. Finally, their Haru 2023 fight. Mitoryu again flinches his hands up on the Tachiai before bringing them low. Hokuseiho again leads with his right shoulder and forearm to absorb the initial contact and reaches around Mitoryu's right arm with his left. This time, Mitoryu gets a solid underhand belt grab with his left. 
Hokuseiho pops his body up and shoves his hips back. He has his own left hand gripping Mitoryu's belt, so moving his hips back requires more reach to keep the hold, and that plays to his height advantage. He tries to drive Mitoryu back, but that's a big boy with a solid grip, so the attempt goes nowhere. Hokuseiho gets his right hand on Mitoryu's belt, since there's not much Mitoryu can do about it, and eventually pushes his hips forward, trying to use his height to help force Mitoryu high enough to start moving backwards, center of gravity higher, just like last time. It works to an extent, but Mitoryu plants his right foot forward, bouncing Hokuseiho up and negating the momentum even though he needs to take another step back to find his footing. Mitoryu now just starts walking to his left, which is not something we often see from wrestlers with an opponent bent that far forward and hanging on their belt. He pushes Hokuseiho as far as the rope despite Hokuseiho's entire frame leaning on him. If you saw how Hokuseiho prevented Ryuden from doing anything while holding on with one hand and looking bored, you'll get an idea of how much Mitoryu is accomplishing here. But at the rope, Hokuseiho pushes forward and stands with both hands under Mitoryu's belt, lifting him and starting his own push. Mitoryu plants his foot and gets steady, but once Hokuseiho finds the timing on his hip pops to get Mitoryu in motion, he drives his opponent all the way to the rope and out when Mitoryu misses the rope with his foot. And then he keeps pushing because he doesn't realize he's already won. Even though Mitoryu won the first meeting between these two, Hokuseiho keeps learning and learning and getting better and getting better. Presumably his knee is also getting healthier, which just tilts the odds in his favor even more. The one thing that Mitoryu does have going for him, and probably will always have going for him, is that he has the size and power to actually move Hokuseiho, whereas some guys just can't make that happen. But Hokuseiho seems very good at a very boring type of sumo, which is just leaning on his opponent in a way that makes his opponent unable to move him. This is not going to cut it at higher levels, but Mitoryu is not higher level. Hokuseiho should have a pretty solid advantage unless Mitoryu can come up with some kind of strategy to negate Hokuseiho's ability to just stand there and take everything his opponent can throw at him. That's it for day 9. Like it if you learned something, and I'll see you tomorrow.